Hi, I'm Toby from Concrete Lab and in this video we are going to prepare our moulds ready to pour the cast in place mix. Now there's three parts to uh, the prep. Uh, the first is to silicone all of the edges so that uh, none of the, the concrete pours out when you pour it in. The second is to apply a primer to the, uh, the sub base that remains in the mould. And the third is to apply mould release to the lip structure that will eventually be stripped away to, uh, to show the concrete in all its glory. So let's start with the siliconing. So for this, you're going to need gloves. Important, because it's messy stuff, you don't want to get it everywhere. Uh, you're going to need uh, silicone tools. Uh, we uh, get these from uh, a general DIY store, uh, not particularly expensive. You could use a pencil um, with the with the end rounded, but these are uh, these have got special radiuses on them, uh, especially for things like this. Okay, uh, you're going to need lots of tissue to wipe up all the excess, and finally, you're going to need a silicone gun and some silicone. Now we use Pseudo Silly Rub S. Um, it's a sanitary sealant, and it works particularly well we find with, uh, with concrete moulds. Uh, a good tip is to use a grey silicone, so if a little bit of it is left in the concrete, you won't actually see it. So let's put our gloves on and start siliconing the mould. Now, it's personal preference, but I don't cut the nozzle off, I leave it nice and uh, thin at the end so you get a very thin bead because inevitably you're going to have to wipe the excess out and the wider the nozzle hole the more you're going to put in the mould. Don't forget to do the verticals as well. process. So because all these edges are going to be seen I'm going to use the uh, a small round radius um, where the edges aren't going to be seen then it's probably better to use just a square a square edge. As you can see, I'm having to wipe the excess off every 10 to 15 centimetres. So that's why we need lots and lots of tissues. And again, don't forget to do the verticals. Now, because the concrete mix is pretty much self-leveling and very forgiving and very easy to use it will follow the mold to its entirety so any imperfections will show up in your finished concrete so it's important at this stage to make it as neat as possible okay and that's a tabletop done. So we'll move on to uh, siliconing the worktop. Okay, so we've got our, our worktop mould here. Uh, as we said in the previous video, these side bits are going to be stripped away. So we'll silicone those up and we'll silicone around the back edge as well. So same method as before. Nice thin bead. So on this edge bit that's being stripped away, I'm just going to use the, the square part of the, uh, of the tool. Everywhere else where the concrete can be seen, I'm going to use the, the round edge. It's 
So the most back edge is done. Use the round edge on the bits that are going to be seen. As you can see, a relatively quick process. Doesn't require a huge amount of skill. Just need to just take your time. Make sure you get as much as the, of, of the excess out on the parts that are of the mold that are going to be seen, or the parts where the concrete is going to be seen when the edge forms are demolded. So next, we're going to apply a primer to the sub base, and uh, once the silicone is gone off then we're going to apply a mold release to that. Okay, so let's get on to priming the mold. This is our primer. Uh, you, uh, when you receive it, you will receive it neat. It needs to be mixed uh, with three parts water. We've already done that here. So, very simple. Undo the top. Pour it on. And get brushing. So what this is going to do is just seal the top of the substrate, whether that be moisture resistant MDF, whether it be plywood like in this uh, situation, or whether that's cement board. Um, it just seals it and um, stops the sub base from sucking any moisture out of the concrete. It's important with the concrete that the moisture or the water remains in the mix for the initial cure. Um, because it is a hydration process um, and requires water for the chemical reaction. So if you can retain as much moisture at that stage in the concrete, then it's going to make it a lot stronger. So that's, that's why we do this. It also, a secondary effect is that it uh, provides a good bond with, with the concrete itself. So you can be liberal with the primer. Remember, it's not only the top surface that needs to be primed, it's the edges as well. At this stage, get it into, into those edges, and we're gonna let, that, let the primer go off, and then we'll apply the mold release into the trough, over the, and it'll go over the top of the primer that's in the trough, but won't affect the primer on the sides of the baseboard and the top. So as you can see again, very, very simple. There we go, and that is the primer applied. Now we'll go over to the worktop section and we'll ap apply the primer there in exactly the same way. There we go, it's the same process. This is moisture resistant MDF, so it won't soak in as readily and will sit on the surface a bit more. But that's fine. Just get a good coverage over it. If you're working inside a house or up against surfaces that you want to uh, remain clean then I definitely recommend that you tape off those areas get them covered over because this stuff uh, it will stick uh, it's very difficult to to remove and uh, will potentially stain so this will take a couple of hours to go off and then we can start looking at applying the mold release to the edges. And once that's done, you're onto the fun bit. You're onto the mixing up of the concrete and pouring it in the mold. Now I've put quite a lot in here. You probably don't need to put that much in, but 
don't worry if you have it will it will soak in eventually and when it dries off it will uh, you'll you'll know from the look of it that uh, that it's fully primed okay so it's literally just been a couple of minutes since we applied the primer to this piece here uh, you can see it's already beginning to soak in um, it's soaking into the worktop nicely as well so we're going to leave this go now for a couple of hours um, we can wait until it's just a bit tacky and then we can apply the mold release to to the edges so we'll see you shortly so uh, it's been a few hours now and the primer has completely dried um, and been completely absorbed into both the plywood on this substrate and the MDF on the worktop mold that we've made as well so uh, we can now go ahead and put the mold release or agent into uh, the trough and on the melamine uh, which are the parts that are going to be removed when uh, we come to uh, stripping the mold so doesn't need a lot I put loads in there now and that should do most of the mold um, at this point you're, you, you can actually take the silicone out when it's when it's cured a little bit more but uh, it, it did it quite neat quite quite neatly when we uh, made the mold so we don't have to pull it out but if you do find any bits you can take those out now either scrape them out come away very easily um, and that just means that you're going to be even more neater in what well, neater in your mold okay so that's that one done uh, what we then do is just remove the excess, excess uh, release agent by just giving it a wipe out so you leave a very thin film against the, the parts that are going to be stripped the reason for that is that the oil is uh, oil based after all uh, as the uh, and, uh, and it will stain the concrete so try and get as much out as possible and just leave a nice thin film okay that's it for that one let's move over to the worktop and here we're going to do exactly the same I've got lots of excess release agent on my brush so I don't really need to add it anymore and it's just going to go on the melamine and the base of the lip there and I'm just on this side going to put it in a bit more gently so that I don't get any release agent on the MDF substrate okay just grab some more kitchen towel wipe out and that's the priming and the release agent done and we're now ready to pour the concrete which will come in the next video now if you are enjoying these videos please hit the subscribe button below and click the little bell icon next to it so that when we upload another video you'll get a notification right, uh, straight away okay see you next time